Hi guys, it's Shay, and I thought I'd update you on my full workout split. Starting with Monday, I absolutely have to hit legs on Monday. I feel strong, I feel sexy, I feel productive. For those who are new here, I do have a personal trainer. So this workout split is designed by him. Leg day number one is glute and hamstring focus. I try to hip thrust every single leg day because this is the lift that I want to improve on the most. I also do these at the beginning of my workout, so I use the majority of my energy for my compound lifts. I used to warm up with 135 pounds, but that's light for me now. My warm-up is 185 pounds. I try to do 10 reps or more. I increase the weight each set. As I go heavier, I just try to hit as many reps as I can before failing. I finally hit my goal weight of 225 pounds. I'm really happy about that. So each leg day, I keep adding more weight until I get to 225 pounds. As soon as that feels light, I'll be going up in weight. But for now, that's a PR. My second lift I'm trying to get heavier on is the leg press. I used to hate this machine, but now the things this thing does for my glutes, I've come to love it. Now that I've been working on my hip mobility, I can get a lot deeper and I warm up with two plates on each side and I keep adding weight from there. These hyper extensions burn no matter what I do. I can't even do these with weight but it just hurts so freaking much like you guys need to try this but these are great at targeting the hamstrings and glutes so I do these as a leg day finisher. I try to do at least 30 minutes of steady state cardio at the end of every single workout. Right now my machine of choice is the Stairmaster but I do switch between that and the treadmill. Tuesday is back and biceps. I've been trying to prioritize hitting pull-ups. I used to do them at the end of my workout, but my muscles were just too fatigued. Now I do them right at the beginning and I see just how many I can do. I do them double banded, having one knee supported and I try to pull myself up as far as I can. On a good day, I can do about three or four. I just keep going until failure. At the end, do some. I do some dead hangs. I just grab the bar and I just hover off the ground. Back day is one of my favorites. I feel so strong and so sexy, honestly. I warm up on the lat pull down machine with 75 pounds. I control the tempo of my reps, even on the negatives. I try not to swing. I go up and wait every single set. This day I actually hit a PR. I did hundred pounds for the first time. I've been stuck at 80 for a while now. Um, so I was really happy. Get a page. I know the twist of eyes are thrill. I put my shit aside for real. I really thought the shit was real. Look in your eye, you kiss your feel. I really thought that I was here. Yeah, but all of the hope inside is killed. Yeah. I see Trace on view. Yeah. Ain't no space to build. Yeah. You put me through hell. Uh. You play me for real, or I really play myself. I always include some type of row movement on my back days. You laughed in my face and you gave me a taste, and I'm drinking my pain, but it won't fade away. Damn. I really face myself. Tell me why you left me without telling. At the end of my workout, I'm so sore and I just followed up with some cardio. Wednesday is chest and shoulders. I love working my chest. It's a natural lift for my boobs. It helps firm and lift them. Plus, I feel so strong. I warm up with 20 pound dumbbells. If you've been following me for a while, when I first started my fitness journey, I could barely do 10 pound dumbbells. Now I'm pushing 25s. I prefer to do these on an incline because my shoulders are more supported. It's also more comfortable for me. So I'll do these in sets of 10 to 15. I 
I've been trying to improve my bench press. I feel strong as hell when I'm doing hip thrusts, but when it comes to bench, I'm so weak and it's comedic at this point. But I'm trying guys, I'm trying. I usually warm up with the bar, but today I felt strong, strong in quotations. <laughs> I put two 2.5 baby plates on there and the bar weighs 45 pounds, so that brings it up to 50 pounds. So this guy came up to me and he asked me if I was almost done and I told him one more set. He walked away. Then I was like, wait a minute. I always am too shy to ask for a spot. Why don't I get the courage and ask today? He was so sweet. He helped me out, told him where to stand, told him how to spot. It was hilarious because he thought I was done and needed help. Then he's like, oh, you got one more. I'm like, yep. And I thanked him after and it honestly it was so nice of him. I'm a freak with it, hit you when I need it But you know what it is Look at your feelings, show me you want it You've been a fan of so at the end of my workout, I try to do some kneeling push-ups to burn out my arms. I do them in sets of 10 and I see just how many I can get. By this point, I'm spent and I'm usually shaking. One day, I'll get a full body weight push-up, but until now, I do these kneeling. I get myself a little hydro massage to soothe my sore muscles, but not before getting some cardio in. Thursday is the second leg day of the week. Once again, I start off with my hip thrusts, increasing my weight each set. If I hit 225 and I still have energy, I'll try to go heavier. It hasn't happened yet, but let's hope. Knock on wood. Then I focus on some lunge movements. I'll either do walking lunges across the gym or lunges in one place. I'm trying to include more unilateral exercises in my routine, which is focusing on one leg at a time. Leg press, my second favorite. I warm up with two plates on each side and keep adding weight until I feel like I've challenged myself. I grab the heaviest dumbbell in my gym, which is the 75 pounds, and I do sumo goblet squats. I really focus on the mind to muscle connection and push upwards with my heels. A lot of the time my squat rack is taken and we only have one, so I do this movement as a substitute.
As a finisher, I do hip abductions until failure. This really works the side glutes and widens your hips, making your booty pop out from the side. So after my workout, I finish up with 30 minutes of cardio. Friday is like an active rest day for me. Usually I'm really sore, so I'll either foam roll or stretch, train my abs, I'll put on a quick ab workout video or use one of my trainers, but I prefer the quick follow along workouts. Sometimes I use the incline bench and do crunches. I always get some cardio in, always. I take the weekends off since I work and that's it. That's my workout split, guys. If you have any questions, leave them down below for me. If you got it this far in the video, comment some animal emojis. Any animal, get creative with it, girl. I'll see you in the next video, bye. I got combo on my ass, yeah You're the same old song, so you don't get a pass I know the truth, the vibes are thrill I put my shit aside for real I really thought this shit was real Look in your eye, you kiss, you feel I really thought the eye was healed Yeah, but all of the hope beside is killed Yeah, Tazi Trace on view Ain't no space to build You put me through hell You play me for real, or I really play myself You laughed in my face and you gave me a taste And I'm drinking my pain, but it won't fade away Damn I really face myself. Tell me why you